Welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I certainly hope we'll all have a good time today. Nannies, uh, will you please drown me out and sing the songs with me and get me in tune, huh? And here's a little mouse. He's going to help me sing too. So, I, so help him sing the hello song, shall we? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, good job. Well, <clears throat> I know that we all know what a sheep is, right? And their baby is called a lamb. And this is a famous lamb, her name is Lambkin. But we're gonna pretend she's Mary's little lamb. And this looks like a little schoolhouse a long time ago. A little red schoolhouse on top of the hill. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. And all the children laughed and played, laughed and played, laughed and played. All the children laughed and played to see a lamb at school. And what does a lamb say? Ba, ba. That's right. <laughs> well, I see here a farmer's wife. Now we all have pets, right? Some of us do anyway. And some people have dogs, some people have cats, some people have little mice. I think she has three. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice. Yeah, if you're blind, you can't see, but oh, they can smell. And what do they smell? They smell that cheese that's going to be theirs. Yeah. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three Blind mice, three blind mice. <laughs> Wasn't that kind of silly, huh? Is that kind of silly? Sure. Well, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for us, huh, for our caregivers. And by relating your child's experiences uh, to what is happening in a book or asking your child to make those connections helps develop their uh, comprehension very important for them to understand what's being read by relating it to something that has happened to them. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, my first book today is From Head to Toe. You know where your head is? Show me. That's it. And your toe? Right down there. And this book is by Eric Carl. Look at that. From Head to to toe. And that gorilla is pointing to his head, isn't he? Ooh, oh, look at those colors. Wow. <clears throat> and that little boy is pointing to his head and to his toe. <clears throat> <clears throat> I am a penguin and I can turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. Ah, I can do it. I am a giraffe and I bend in my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. Yeah, that child says he can do it. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's see. Can you raise your shoulders? 
Ah, that little girl can. <clears throat> ah, I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? Huh? Can you wave your arms, your whole arm? Huh? I can do it. Sure. That boy can do that. Ah, I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. And clap your hands, let's hear. Oh, I am a gorilla and I can beat my chest. Uh, can you do it? Oh, I can do it. Uh, huh? <laughs> ah, I am a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I am an alligator and I wiggle my hips. Can you do it? Ah, I can do it. I am a camel and I, <clears throat> I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you get down on one knee like that? Huh? I can do it. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do that? <coughs> Excuse me. I can do it. Look at that. I can't do it right here. Probably can't do it at all, actually. <laughs> I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. That's that little girl. I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Look, look at the parrot. I can do it. The parrot even talks. Look at that. Look at that. Talking parrot. And they do. You can teach them to talk from head to toe by Eric Curl. Well, I'm glad you know where your head is, right? Let's play a little game, shall we? See if you can play along with me and maybe your, your mommies can help you, huh? And you can help me sing it too. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we go a little faster? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. And shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Can you go faster? I don't know whether I can. Let's see. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. And shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I did it. <laughs> <coughs> well, my goodness me. Here's a poem by Jack Polutsky. And I found it in Ride a Purple Penguin. And it's about a naughty little mouse. A naughty little mouse. Uh -oh. And in, it, in this poem is a rocket ship. Look at there, blasting off. There we go. Naughty little brown mouse, with whiskers on his face, stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston, on Tuesday afternoon, the mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. And look at that. Isn't that fun? And here's that naughty little brown mouse. There he is. Naughty little brown mouse, whiskers on his face, stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. <laughs> that's just pretend, isn't it? Yes, that's fun. When I was a little girl, no one had been to the moon. So 
we all pretended that maybe there was cheese on it. Yeah, great big, huh, great big moon of cheese. <clears throat> well, what do you see up here? I see the alphabet, but I see it is on a train, a freight train. And a freight, this freight train is being pulled by a steam engine, a big black steam engine. And when I was a little girl, all the trains were steam engines. Wow. <clears throat> and this book I'm going to read is Freight Train by Donald Cruz. And you can help me by saying clickety clack, clickety clack when we <clears throat> turn the page. Can you do that? Huh? That's the sound the train makes as it goes over the tracks. Clickety clack, clickety clack. See that train track? Yeah, the train has to stay on the track. That's its road. That's how it travels. <clears throat> A train runs across the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack. A red caboose at the back. Orange tank car next. Yellow hopper car. What is a hopper car? Some poor, <clears throat> poor grain or anything in there. And then they have a hole in the bottom that will open up and let it through to some sort of a container. Yes. Green cattle car. Well, that's where the cows and the sheep are carried off to market. A blue gondola car. Purple box car. Oh, well, maybe our toys are in there. What do you think? Ah, a black tender. That's where they carry all the coal to make the steam engine work. Right. A black steam engine. Woo woo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Ah, freight train. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Right, right. There it goes. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Oh, <clears throat> moving, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Oh, going through tunnels. Clickety clack, clickety clack, crookety crook, crookety crook, crookety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Going by cities. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Oh, going, crossing trestles. Get off the trestle. Here I come. Make sure everybody's off the trestle. Keep them safe. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Moving in darkness. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Ah, moving in daylight. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Going, going, going. As a little girl, we'd sit out the, <clears throat> waiting for the train to go by out west. <clears throat> out in the, in the Midwest and there would be, we would count the cars and there would be a hundred or 108 box cars going by. That's right, a lot. Well, what else do we see on this freight train? We see the alphabet, right? Where is the alphabet? Well, it makes up the words of freight train, right? By Donald Cruz. And you know those, uh, the ABC songs, huh? Sure, come on. Let's all sing the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, X, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Huh? What about it? Huh? Come on, can we clap to it? Sure, we can. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hey, good job, good job. <clears throat> well, somewhere there's a farm nearby, and I see... 10 little chickens. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Well, and here is the mama. 
She is a hen, right? She's a mama chicken. Well, good morning. <coughs> chuck, 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 chuck. Well, good morning, Mrs. Hen. And how many chickens have you got? Oh, madam, I have 10. Four of them are yellow and four of them are brown and two of them are speckled red, the finest in the town. <laughs> She's very proud of her babies, yes. And you help me with this one. Chuck, 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 chuck. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. And how many chickens have you got? Madam, I have 10. Four of them are yellow and four of them are brown. And two of them are speckled red, the finest in the town. <laughs> and where did they come from? Right from those eggs, right? <clears throat> Good night, moon. Good night, moon. Oh, you know this one by Margaret Weiss Brown, right? Here's a favorite. And we just had to do it before the end of the season of storytelling online. Good night, moon. <clears throat> In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of what? Uh, a cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. Another picture. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. See two little kittens and a pair of mittens. Hmm? And a little uh, toy house and a young mouse. Ah, I see the toy house. Where's the young mouse? Up oh, there it is over there. Go watch out. The kittens are there. Home and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a little old lady whispering hush. Grandma, I think it is. Good night, room. The little bunny is going to bed. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, <clears throat> bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night clocks and good night socks. Good night little house and good night little mouse. There he is. Oh, do you see him? Getting darker out, isn't it? And good night comb, good night brush. Good night, nobody, and good night, mush. Good night to the old lady whispering mush. She's walking back. Nobody's sleeping. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Our grandma's gone to her bed. Baby is sleeping. Good night, moon. By Margaret Weiss Brown. <clears throat>
Well, there's some birds that fly only in the daytime, but some fly at night. And one is the owl. And he flies out looking for his supper. And those creatures that are out at night better watch out, especially the little mice. The wise old owl sits high in the oak. Where he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? Huh? Can you be? Huh? Listen, we listen very carefully. We'll learn a lot more. Sure we will. The wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? <clears throat> well, we did this last week. It's a little dance and you can hop or skip or, or whatever you <clears throat> wanna do um, to move around a bit and dance. Can you dance? Do you like to dance, huh? I do, sure. So here we go. There we go. Is this pesky fly? Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Skip to my loo, my darling. I can hop, maybe jump. Huh? Huh? Hold on to mama's hands and jump. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now we can pretend we're painting, can we? Little red wagon painted blue, little red wagon painted blue, little red wagon painted blue. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's time for a bye bye song. I really do. And maybe, maybe Mrs. Hen can sing goodbye to us, shall we? That's it. <clears throat> so bye bye to the three little blind mice and bye bye to the farmer too. Bye bye to Mary's lamb. It's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to Mr. Owl and bye bye to the naughty brown mouse that went to the moon. <laughs> and bye bye to the little bunny in bed. And good night moon, it's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to Granny Jean and bye bye to all our friends. And we hope to see you next week. We have a story that my auntie wrote to her little grandchildren many years ago. And I think that it would be kind of fun to try and do it in this program for you to <clears throat> next week for my last program. So anyway, hope to see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>